Mike Esposito, inventor of the vertical grill, back in studio with us. Mike, it took no time flat for you to cook this stuff up. Uh, Do you ever taste a piece of salmon like that in four minutes? You know, it's different in the you know, four minutes. First of all, four I, minutes. I was out there when, when you put the salmon in, and we started shooting the bull for a couple minutes, and then you're like, "Whoa, excuse me, I gotta go. It's done." And right. it's a very, very moist. Possibly one of the most moist pieces of grilled salmon I've ever had in my whole life. And I've eaten my fair share. I've been the demise, the demise of plenty of pieces of fish. <laughs> and it's a, and what I like about it is it has a different texture on the outside. You know, it has a, a grilled but not too grilled uh, flavor on the right. outside. You know, and you can taste the the uh, the the, uh, the the smoke, or, or I'm sorry, the, the charcoal flavor without the, the smoke that you would get from yeah, right. the carcinogenics. And not one speck of it is uh, overcooked. And we didn't use any salt or pepper, or and just that natural yeah, fish. No lemon juice, no sauce, nothing. It's right from what we've been sampling. It's just natural fish. We have a burger here. You brought some nice ground chuck burgers, mm. which we're going to try again in a second. All right, so we've been getting some emails. We're getting some calls. What's the deal? Somebody wants to get one of these grills. What? what, what I mean, they con- first of all, we have all of their all of his contact information right now at onthegrillradio.com. So go to the website. You can know how to get a hold of Mike. You can send him an email. You and him can become Facebook friends, maybe. You know, you guys can text each other, but I don't, 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 don't harass the poor guy. But, <laughs> but if somebody's thinking about this grill as an option and they want to get a hold of you, what do you see for the future oh, of this? Oh, they can go right out to Mike's Vertical Grill. Mike's Vertical Grill. And, and it has a place to order the grill. Right now we're, we're taking orders where they're on a pre-order because we don't have them fully manufactured yet and we can't promise yeah. you know, a six real w- exact date. Six weeks or probably couple- Six weeks probably would be... Uh, six weeks to two months, you think? Yeah, I would say, and then you'd be, you'd be safe. In time for summer? Yes, definitely. Now, um, I know you're, 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 you're in the fabrication process of this and to get it out there. What's the uh, what's the price point on something like this? Right now, it's offered on the site for one seventy nine. Okay, which which uh, it's a real quality piece. It's not something you know. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah. glad you brought that up. Uh, you know, a lot of times when you go to the Home Depot or you go to Lowe's or you go to the Sam's Club or you go to another place, mm. insert the name of the store that sells the grills. Look at the size of the metal on the grill. Look at the thickness <laughs> of the metal on the grill. It is not a a thick metal as opposed to a grill that would cost many hundreds of dollars or several thousands of dollars right. it's made of a very very thick metal you know a lot of these grills 150 to 400 dollar range it's, it's, yeah. it's a little bit thicker than aluminum foil and if you look at them for some of the, some of the prices it's ridiculous they couldn't make it for that price so yeah. they have to make it so thin yeah they, they, yeah. they make it so thin and yeah. uh it doesn't last right, you know exactly. I mean, it looks good this season but at the end of summer, it's going to look like a busted car. You know, it's really going to look like it got punched in the mouth. It comes pre-dented. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, but you, from the metal, from the test, from the prototype I've seen, you've used uh, steel mesh, uh, right. a thick gauge steel mesh. You've used a thick, thick gauge steel uh, uh, right, ca- right. casing. You know, right. all around it. You know, then the black metal uh, in the bottom of the uh, drip pan area. Right. And the concept of the grill is, you pour the charcoal on the top. On the top. It evenly distributes on both sides. It comes it comes down both sides. There's two spaces for the coals to come alongside both both sides of the food being cooked. So what's happening is you're getting a radiation and and baking and roasting at the same time. So that's why it's so cooked so quickly. And once the charcoal's in there, you never have to mess with it, touch it. You, if you're cooking a long, long time, like after say hour and a half, two hours, you might have to add a little more charcoal to the top. Sure, which is on any charcoal grill, right. you have to add more charcoal eventually. I mean, the, the fuel does expire. And then the beauty of it is, at the end of it, when it's all cooked down, you just poke it down a little bit with a like a your fork, right? And all the all the charcoal goes down into that tray that's holding the water, so it extinguishes any any hot coals, and it's all in the tray. Now, once it's all set up, you take the tray out, put it in a garbage bag, and you're done. And it's already cool. It's cool, Because yeah. the, uh, the the ash, once, once, the, once the coals burn out, the ash, you know, after a it's while, cool, yeah. it's cool, and then it falls into the uh, water, right. completely extinguishes it. Right. So it eliminates another potential hazard, you know, because if you have charcoal that's lying horizontally, and you let it burn out to where it looks like a pile of ash... It could that still be hot, hot for days. I mean, right. you, you might have a day or two of of heat insulated in there. I've had a couple of uh, delayed fires. Well, you, you yeah. know what? I had a couple of months ago. I was cooking. No, a couple. A couple of years ago, I was cooking on my uh, big black smoker, and we cooked ribs all day on Saturday, all day. And we, I, we even we even said, "Let the fire burn out. We'll get the ashes in the morning." And we got inside. We ate all the ribs. Yeah. Got a little crazy. 
went to bed, woke up, went outside with a garbage insulate uh, plastic garbage can, right? And the and you know the garbage bag in it, and in a couple of scoops, I got most of the ash out, and I went back inside for something, and went right it, through the bottom. It went through the bottom, <laughs> not, not the bag, yeah. but the can. It went through the it yeah. went through the, the the white Rubbermaid can, and it, it was all in the. Uh, the driveway. I was like, "Oh my gosh, look at this!" Yeah, you can't believe it. And I had no at that time. I had no idea that it doesn't it, just because it's cool to the touch on the outside doesn't right. mean inside the ashes underneath sure. is, is the heat. Your uh, product completely eliminates right, that. Right, sure. And, and you, you handle. You know when you're handling it, it's done. You know, now it's finished. I see on your website, Mike, that you you made a commercial. It's a little homemade commercial. A little homemade with, commercial. Look at you. Slight, slightly uh, professional. <laughs> Slightly, yeah, it was good. My guys were really good. No, Young crew, they, they, were, they were they were great. You know, yeah. and you have a, a a lovely lady in the commercial who's explaining yeah. the product. Yeah, and then she pulls you out, and you come out. Well, you know, uh, uh, it's hard to talk in front of the camera. Grill, uh. <laughs> no, but um, we have all of your contact information up at onthegrillradio.com. dot com, and about two months, you think? I would say yeah, about two months. We should have the first <laughs> ones coming in. All right, Mike. Thanks for joining us today. Oh, it's been great being here. Really so happy to have me. I appreciate it. I want to know what goes on with the product. We, right. If we can help you in any other way, if you ever need a, to talk about it or something new development, by all means, you're always welcome here. All right. Beautiful.